Hello everybody and good morning. Today is Tuesday, August 9th of 2022 and this is our daily devotional time together. I am Allie Cobb, Director of Children's Youth and Family Ministries here at St. John's United Methodist Church and thank you so much for joining me for our daily devotional time together. This is a point to midday where we get to pause as a community of faith um, full of friends um, and read the Upper Rooms Daily Devotional together, have some reflection, share in scripture and prayer together. So thank you so much for um, pausing your day and joining me right now. Um, I do enjoy our time together. Um, if you are joining me now live or a little bit later on in the day, if you wouldn't mind leaving a comment below, um, we always like to know which um, of our friends stopped by for the day. Um, today I will be in the book of Matthew, so if um, anybody has their Bible and they would like to follow along, you are more than welcome to do so. Um, once again, in the book of Matthew. Good morning, Stacy. It's so good to see you today. Um, I will be filling in for Jim for um, about a week. He is taking um, his yearly vacation, much well-deserved and needed. I'm happy that he gets to spend some time with uh, Margaret, his wife, and children and grandchildren. So it will be a lovely week of rest, well, hopefully rest for him. I don't know with all those grandchildren around, it might not be that restful. You never know with grandkids. <laughs> Good morning, Chris and Barb Mueller. Good to see you as well. Thank you for joining me today. Thankfully, it's been a little bit cooler this week, um, but I think it's still going to be um, some hot, some, some more hot days ahead. <laughs> but I'm enjoying a little bit of cooler weather for the past day or two. Well, we'll wait um, another minute or two to see if any more um, of our friends join us um, before we get started today. Um, once again, in the book of Matthew, and I am in chapter 14, um, it'll be verses 22 through 33. Oh, and this Sunday is um, Youth Donut Sunday, so make sure that um, if you're coming to church, be prepared for some donuts. Uh, it always um, throws everybody off. Normally, the Youth Donuts are on the third Sunday of the month. Um, and this is August is a special month where it's actually the second um, Sunday of the month because the youth and children prepare um a meal for neighbor to neighbor on the third Monday. Um, and on this particular month, August, August 1st was a Monday. Therefore, the third Monday is actually um, it's the second Sunday and then the third Monday. So just to keep everybody on their toes, there will be donuts um, this week. <laughs> Okay, well, let us begin today. Um, as I mentioned before, I'm in the book of Matthew, chapter 14, verses 22 through 33 of the Common English Bible. And this is our scripture for today. Right then, Jesus made the disciples get into the boat and go ahead to the other side of the lake while he dismissed the crowds. When he sent them away, he went up onto a mountain by himself to pray. Everything came and he was alone. Meanwhile, the boat, fighting a strong headwind, was being battered by the waves and was already far away from land. Very early in the morning, he came to his disciples walking on the lake. When the disciples saw him walking on the lake, they were terrified and said, It's a ghost! They were so frightened they screamed. Just then Jesus spoke to them, Be encouraged. It's me. Don't be afraid. Peter replied, Lord, if it's you, order me to come to you on the water. And Jesus said, Come. Then Peter got out of the boat and was walking on the water towards Jesus. But then Peter saw the strong wind. He became frightened. As he began to sink, he shouted, Lord, rescue me. Jesus immediately reached out and grabbed him, saying, You man of weak faith, why did you begin to have doubts? When they got into the boat, the wind settled. Then those in the boat worshiping Jesus said, You must be God's son. And our focus verse for today is from Matthew 14, 29 of the Common English Bible. Jesus said, Come. Then Peter got out of the boat and was walking on the water towards Jesus. And our thought for today is, sometimes it takes a step of faith to meet Jesus. And our daily devotion today comes from Asuko Yoso of Japan. And these are their thoughts today. A step of faith. I have an upcoming medical examination at the hospital that, will be, that I will be going to alone. Normally my mother would come with me. So the idea of going by myself fills me with fear and anxiety. 
It might be something terrifying in the test results, I think. When the results do come, will I be able to receive them calmly? As I prepare to go by myself, I try to remember Bible stories. I remember my, I remind myself that I have the support of friends who are praying for me. These thoughts strengthen me. In the midst of this ordeal, I am, reckon, I am realizing that I need to take a step into the unknown. When we have something on our minds that we can't stop worrying about, we may, we may brood about them. My experience has taught me about the power of entrusting worry to Jesus. I've heard people say, if you take one step forward, Jesus will lead you. That one step is a step of faith. As we take it, we learn, we, we learn that Jesus walks with us and supports us. With Christ, we are never alone. And our prayer focus for today is those awaiting for medical test results. Um, when thinking about today's devotion, um, I actually think about our St. John's community right now. Um, we have a couple of folks um, that are on our prayer list um, that have either had um, recent surgeries, um, are recovering from them, or um, have injured themselves. And just thinking about how wonderful um, this little community of faith is that we have here at St. John's, um, how loving and special and caring we are. Um, it can be, and I've been um, one that's been on the recipient side of um, this and everything. Whenever we have um, somebody that's going through um, a struggle, especially medical, we do a really, really good job, um, I say here at St. John's, of just loving and supporting one another. Um, and it can be hard, um, one, reaching out for help. Um, sometimes it's not easy to, you know, request that you be put on the prayer list and everything because you might think, well, what I have going on is insignificant compared to X, Y, or Z person and everything. Um, but as I always say, there's enough prayer to go around. Um, so for anybody that's on our prayer list right now or that needs to be added onto our prayer list, um, we're just such a good and loving community. Um, we really help support one another. Um, I know people always call in and check in on people. They send cards. Um, they send meals. Um, we are Methodist after all. Um, the joke is you have to have a 13 by 9 um, baking pan in order to be a Methodist. <laughs> Don't know if that's true or not, but I'm pretty sure everybody um, at St. John's probably has a good 13 by 9 um, casserole dish <laughs> that they like to use. Um, but when we take those steps of faith, um, not only are we walking with um, Jesus there supporting us, but with um, a community of faith that's also there that has our best interest at heart, um, that wants us to do well. Um, and it can be uncomfortable going through um, either that recuperation time or waiting for um, things to heal or awaiting test results. That's always um, very nerve wracking. You're always, you know, checking your phone to make sure it's still on and working. Or maybe you're refreshing your email all the time to see if you have um, a message in the patient portal and everything. And it can be, it's very uncomfortable. Um, but knowing that you have those friends um, there behind you and that community of faith that is there praying for you, um, rooting for you for your best interest, um, and just willing to sit with you. Sometimes that's the best thing that, that's the best food for the soul, so to speak, is just, you know, sitting with somebody and listening um, and praying for them and just being um, a calming presence. Um, and sometimes it doesn't take, you know, but sometimes it's just helping out in those little itty bitty ways that um, end up making the biggest difference. Um, as I've been saying a lot here lately, you know, it's all those little things that add up to big things. So um, as we pause today um, for our prayer um, together, let us lift up um, anybody who is in need of healing, um, not just our own St. John's community, um, but anybody. Dear Jesus, thank you for walking with us in all situations. Give us the courage to step out in faith and meet you. We pray for all of those who are sitting in this time who are needing your healing touch. In your name we pray. Amen. Well, thank you so much for joining me um, today for our daily devotion time. Um, I actually have an appointment tomorrow um, during our normal devotion time, so um, I will pre-record it, um, and it'll just be a link that you just have to click on um, at 11.45. Um, but then I'll be back on live again um, for the remainder of our time together um, and on Thursday. So have a great rest of your Tuesday, and take such good care. Bye-bye.